This tutorial is going to teach you how to do really basic formatting. So changing font size, changing color, filling um, cells with color, adjusting size of cells, height and width, um, and using the border function. Okay, so uh, first up you'll notice that the uh, cells aren't big enough to fit this data in here, which is a phone number if you click on it there. So uh, what you do is you just click on the column, which in this case is column G, and then you double click on the line in between G and H, and you'll notice that you can do that by the icon changing into this arrow across a vertical line. There it is, double click, and it'll automatically adjust it to fit the contents of the cell. You do the same here, and on this one, or if you want to be real clever, you highlight everything, and then if you just adjust one of these, It'll auto adjust everything to fit. And if you do the same thing and then double click on one of these vertical ones, it'll auto adjust them as well. Okay, so now that everything fits, we're gonna do some more formatting. The first thing we're gonna do is make this title go the whole way across. So we click and then drag with the first click and then merge and center. Again, we'll do the same with this. Click and hold, drag across. Emergent center. All right, we're gonna color this one as well. We're gonna make it a light blue, and this one too. And we might even give them a border. So we've got your bordering options here. There's some thick ones. You can also change the thickness of the border here. But we're just gonna go with the normal borders there, all borders. There we go. Uh, we might even change this font. We're gonna call it, we'll go to the stencil font. And we might even change the color of that. Make it red. Now this is a subheading, so we should make that a bit bigger and bold it. There we go, so that's a bit bigger than that. That's a little bit bigger. And our, our headings for our columns, we'll highlight them and we'll bold them as well. Now you'll notice that this last name column is too big because it used to contain the title. So we can just adjust that manually. Across to there. Okay, so this is a make-believe uh, database for this fully sick computers company. Um, and this is a customer database that doesn't really exist. And there's another thing we need to adjust just there. There we go. Okay, so that was pretty much formatting. You've changed some font colors. You've adjusted some uh, widths. We can even adjust that slightly a bit more. Okay, that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you wanted to wrap some text, so for example, if you decided that this phone number bit here is too big, what we would do is we'd increase the height of this one over here and click the wrap text function. And now when we shrink this down a bit, the text wraps and goes on two different lines. Okay, otherwise it would normally do this and you, you wouldn't see it because the wrap function hasn't been enabled here. So if we wrap there, that wraps as well. Okay, um, that's all I want to do for the formatting part of this tutorial. Once you've made this, save your work and move on to the next lesson.